Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Basha, I'm a self-employed jewelry designer and maker and today I want to show you how my day looks like when I'm working on a new collection for my online shop. It's finally spring, which makes me so happy with the longer days and flowers. I hope you can feel the increase in your energy levels as well and I hope you're doing okay. So spring is that time of the year when I launch my yearly collection called Hana Fubuki. The name is in Japanese as it is mainly inspired by Japan, its nature and art. A fellow maker from Japan helped me develop this name and it means shower of cherry blossoms which is so beautiful. As you may know Japan is famous for the sakura season with stunning blooming cherry blossoms all around the country. This collection is a tribute to nature that wakes up from the winter sleep and blooms all around us. This time I'm going to be very careful and track my time while making each jewelry piece because I want to have a reference for myself and also it just makes it so much easier with pricing. So I have this list ready with materials and time and I'm going to use this clock which counts backwards. Well, yeah, it's a timer. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to put it on the side and I usually track either 60 minutes or 30 minutes and it helps me so much with the pricing, you have no idea. But yeah, so this is the pendant and another one that I will be finishing today. And I'm also working on some very dainty and delicate sakura flower uh, stat earrings. It takes a lot of time to make them and each step is very tricky, but honestly, I really enjoy making them. And it makes me very happy that you really love these earrings too. I just really like these flowers. They are very delicate. And this time I will offer two sizes small and medium. Now I'm picking some photos after editing in the Lightroom app on my phone and I will post them on Instagram. I want to share some previews of the pieces I finished so far, so I'm going to create a carousel post with several photos. I've written a detailed description and I'm also going to automatically share that post to Facebook. After publishing, I'm adding this post to my Instagram story so that more people can see the new post. I'm also adding a timer which shows when the shop will be updated and if you tap on it, you will receive a notification. And that's it, Instagram has been updated. I am adding some engravings and textures onto my koi fish that will be going on one pendant. And I'm using some burr attachments for my rotary tool to do it. It's very simple. Honestly, after getting a hang of it and knowing how to hold the handpiece, I really enjoy doing this. And the effect is always really great and very interesting. And that's the result. I really love it. Honestly, this pendant. <laughs> I'll tell you a bit more about this in a second, but I'm just so glad that I finished it. <laughs> Flower earrings are almost finished. They are covered in patina and I'm going to work hard on them a little bit. I am still using my little toy washing machine, which is just a tiny tumbler. I have a steel shot inside. I'm going to add some soapy thingy <laughs> cleaner inside and I'm going to tumble them for a while.
with this necklace I cannot decide whether I want to leave it as it is without the jump ring that would be similar to the one that I made before or to solder the jump ring on and add this amethyst to it. I really like this to be honest but I just don't know. <laughs> you know what? Let's go for it. Let's make it like this. Right, I forgot to tell you that I have changed how the workshop looks like. <laughs> so the bench was just by the window, but I moved it over here, which in turn created kind of like a setup that I used to have in Bristol. So I had smaller bench on this side and my main bench on this side and the source of light was right over there. And honestly, I feel so comfortable creating in this setup. I love it with this little trolley that I can move around. It just feels really good. There are still some changes that I'm uh, going to make. Oh, and one more thing. I am going to be distashing some of my gemstones and I'm wondering, I might do it on Etsy. I've seen another maker do it recently and it got me thinking that maybe I could do it too. There are just some really nice gemstones that I have here but I know now based on my experience that I am not going to use them. So I would say it's a shame and I would really like to destash and sell some of the gemstones that I have, get some of the money back and be able to purchase new ones. But yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm just gonna destash some of these and make some space for new gemstones. <laughs> okay, so wait, <laughs> this pendant is ready. It has beautiful crystal, clear crystal set in here and with some details on the back and to be honest if you remember if you've been watching me for that long you might remember this design from like two years ago and last year when I was sharing my designs for Hana Fubuki collection but I just never I don't know ended up making it and this year I decided <laughs> I just have to do it. I just have to finish it because it's just so pretty. I don't know why I was procrastinating so much. So one last thing for today is to finish this pendant. Let me get it out of the pickle. Where, where is, where is it? Uh -huh. I was searching for the bigger ones, but these will do. Um, let me get it out. Well, it looks like it's nice and clean. Let's clean it over here. Cover it up. It's off. It's off. I always make sure a few times that it's off and I also always uh, unplug everything. I never leave the studio with things plugged in because I'm just too paranoid for that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is all soldered now. I just need to, oh goodness, my hand. <laughs> I just need to clean it and polish it, add some patina, a few more steps, and this will be done. So these are all of the finished pieces. Honestly, I am so happy with how they turned out. I ended up making rather statement pieces, which wasn't necessarily my plan, it's just happened. <laughs> But there will be second part of the collection in early May and for that part I have planned some smaller pieces and some elements that I've been making in the past like pink manta ray pendants and some butterfly elements. So yeah, definitely more of the smaller and dainty elements and pieces. 
Now I'm going to get my notes where I was tracking my time and materials and do the pricing. And then I will create listings and upload everything onto my Shopify. I am also going to take some photos today. <laughs> Honestly, this is how it looks like most of the time, I know. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the glamorous side of the behind the scenes. It doesn't matter what matters is. <laughs> <laughs> the end result and the photos. Thanks so much for watching today everyone and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>